Spielberg. I hate Steven Spielberg. All his movies are allied propaganda. Schindler's List is allied propaganda? No, Raiders of the Lost Ark? What? The only Germans in the movie were Nazis. All Germans are not Nazis. Mercury shipping sign here. The bad guys just happen to be Nazis. It doesn't mean all Germans are Nazis. You don't see the larger pattern. What larger patterns? Spielberg's anti-German movie larger pattern. Right. Like E.T. A lovable alien pursued by German federal agents. Come on, give me a break. Where in the movie does it say they're German? Where does it say they're not German? Hang on. Hey, excuse me. Yeah. This is wrong. Our order was for 40 cans of cat food, not 40 boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Not really my problem. Not your problem? There's no red call for me? Not now. I'm having a problem. What kind of problem? Barry hates Germans. That is not my problem. Thanks for using Mercury Shipping. We deliver okay. lickety split. Hey, come back here! Damn it! Tesla Labs? Yes, just bill it to the Department of Defense. How long will it be? Haha, <laughs> thank you. What am I gonna do with 40 boxes of cat food? You could use it to hate Germans. I mean, that is what you're good at. Mercury Shipping. Dr. Erlenmeyer. Yes, that was fast. I'm Dr. Erlenmeyer. Sign here. I had a problem with the delivery. Thanks for using Mercury Shipping. We deliver lickety split. Damn it! So, what's in the box, Dr. Erlenmeyer? The house pet of the future. Schrodinger's cat. Is it hungry? Ever have one of those days where nothing goes right? Where everything and everyone stresses you out? And you're the nexus of space and time? Well, Eagle Age Life, a variety store. These are the things that make me roar. Disco sucks and so does war. The meek shall inherit the earth no more. I'm the king, I am therefore. What kind of a fool am I? How the Eagle Age Life, a variety store. These are the things that make me roar. I am the king, I am therefore. What kind of a fool am I? What kind of a fool am I? Tired of ordinary cat food? Try new Caddy Platter. Caddy Platter is proven in blind clinical taste tests to be the taste cats love 16 million to one. And it's the only cat food endorsed by the American Dental Association for promoting strong teeth and bones. And it promotes smiles in people too. Caddy Platter, it's pussy licking good. Tired of paying for something you don't even eat yourself? Why not switch to new caddy platter? As long as whaling is legal in Japan, we've got an endless supply of nature's goodness to cram into every can. Our warehouses are so full, we can afford to pass the savings on to you, the cat owner. Why not buy yourself something nice with the money you save? Caddy platter, it's wallet licking good. So what's in the box? Schrodinger's cat. Erwin Schrödinger was a founding father of quantum physics. He invented the cat to show how events on a subatomic scale can affect things in the real world. So, is it like Pavlov's dog? Pavlov's dog? Ha! A party trick. Ring a bell and the dog drools. Floppy. See? No. Schrödinger's cat is half the food and half the mess of a regular cat because it's only half alive. Uh, isn't that radioactive? No more radioactive than an x-ray. What kind of x-ray? An x-ray of your entire body lasting 29 hours. Relax, I'm a doctor. Ta-da! So where's the cat? In the box. Well, let me see it. Oh, no, no, no. We can't open the box. If you open the box, you collapse the superposition of the state vector. Then it's just a regular old cat. <laughs> Who wants an ordinary cat? The super po what now? The superposition of the state vector. The cat is dead and alive at the same time. Don't you know anything about quantum mechanics? Yeah, my uncle's a quantum mechanic. There's no such thing as a quantum mechanic. Yes, there is, my uncle. I have a doctorate in quantum physics, and there's no way that your uncle is a quantum mechanic. Yeah, and why not, wise guy? It doesn't exist. You say my uncle doesn't exist? No, I'm saying your uncle isn't a quantum mechanic. Quantum mechanics don't exist. I thought you had a degree in quantum mechanics. I do. Quantum mechanics and quantum mechanics aren't the same thing. Yeah, that sounds the same to me. Granted, but one of them uses capital letters and the other one doesn't exist. And your dead and alive cat exists? Yes, it's right here. 
What are you doing? I can't make it work. It's not that simple. Okay, imagine the inside of a locked box. Okay, I'm locked inside the box. Inside the box, there is a cat. You see the cat? <sighs> I see the cat. Good. There's also a small sample of weapons-grade plutonium. I'm radioactive. And a Geiger counter. What the heck's a Geiger counter? It's for measuring radioactivity. I'm radioactive. What does it look like? It's a machine with dials. <laughs> It's not sexy. Focus, Roland. See the Geiger counter. I can't see it. It's not sexy. Would you please stop shouting? I'm locked inside a box. It's a small machine. It clicks near radioactivity. Small machine? I click near radioactivity. I'm radioactive. I can see it. OK. There's also a vial of poison gas. Dangerous. And a hammer. All right! I'm the right tool for the job. Ha, this is just like Berlin. How is a cat in a box anything like Berlin? Why do you want to know so you can hate it like Steven Spielberg? Barry hates Steven Spielberg? No, Steven Spielberg hates Germans. What does that have to do with Schrodinger's cat? Roland thinks that I hate Germans. You do hate Germans. I do not. You do too. What are you doing? I'm trying to make your stupid head disappear. No shoe throwing in the store. Yeah, you might break the cat food. Ah, oh, gee. What am I going to do with it all? Why don't you just put it in the back room? The back room is for canned goods. Cat food is a lifestyle accessory. Hey, can we get back to shingling your fantasy camp now? Yeah, it's a lifestyle accessory in a can, Barry. It doesn't work that way, Candace. The store may- Anyway! Fine! As it decays, the plutonium has a random chance of emitting an alpha particle. I'm radioactive. Because she's radioactive. Right. If the Geiger counter detects an alpha particle, the hammer will break the vial of poison gas and kill the cat. I can't breathe. Hammer, man, what are you doing? Oh, oh, cruel quantum physics. Why? Why must the cat die? Why? Well... It might not die. What? If the plutonium doesn't emit an alpha particle, the hammer won't break the vial and the cat will live. But how do you know if plutonium girl's gonna throw the ball? You don't. That's what makes it Schrodinger's cat. Mathematically, the cat is both dead and alive at the same time. Ah! Ah! Zombie cat girl wants to eat my brain! Get your head down! Wait, are you saying there's an actual cat in that box? Yes, aren't you listening? Well, you're gonna have to take it somewhere else. What? No animals are allowed in the store except for seeing eye dogs. No live animals. Right. It's not a live animal. Well, no dead animals either. It's not a dead animal. It doesn't matter. If it's a live animal, it's a violation of store regulations. If it's a dead animal, it's a violation of the health board. Get it out of here. On what grounds? I just told you. Well, is it a store regulation or a health board violation? Both, neither. I don't know. May I speak with your manager? Why? I'm having a problem with one of your staff. What? I never! Yeah, and he hates Germans. I don't care if your cat is alive or dead. Either way, it's got to go. But it's both alive and dead. It's Schrodinger's cat. Let's open the box and find out. No, I already told you. If you open the box, you collapse the state vector and split the universe in half. The whole universe? It's kind of what universe means, Roland. I'd never be able to explain that to the manager. No, I get it. It's kind of like how Raul Julia was in Animal House. Raul Julia wasn't in Animal House. He didn't used to be, but he is now that we're in that universe where everything's just a little bit more classy than the old universe. What are you talking about? Raul Julia, Animal House. The scene where he's all got the monocle and he's all, Hello, I'm Raul Julia. Oh, what a great cat. That never happened. Look, I remember it. I don't understand, I remember it. I barely understand it myself, but what I do know is that looking at the cat creates two different universes, one with a live cat and one with a dead one. Which one would I be in? Both of them. That's 50% sexy, I'm gonna open the box. Roland, no! It's the pet of the future, no mess, no fuss, all you have to do is not open the box! Round Julia, here I come! Roland!
Well? Is it dead? Is it alive? It's dead. It's alive. Can we bow our heads for cat girl, please? That's it? Just an ordinary cat? Just an ordinary cat. It's not sexy at all. I thought you said the universe would split in half. It probably did. Okay, okay, you, you have, have to leave, leave now. Why? No dead animals are allowed in the store. It's a health code violation. No animals are allowed in the store except for seeing eye dogs. Oh, come on! Oh, no, out, get out! Nice kitty. Ow! Ow! Ah, my hand, my hand! My cat! I need a bandage. Aisle two on the left. I'll get it. He said aisle two. The cat's in aisle two? No, the bandage is Nimrod. I don't understand it. There should have been some sort of flash, some kind of cataclysmic event. Like the universe splitting in half. Yeah, exactly like that. Okay, dead cats are not sexy. My hand! Shut up, shut up! Everybody freeze! This is a robbery! Cat burglar. But our cat's already dead. Out of shape? Tired of running out of cat food? Why not switch to new Caddy Platter? If you live in one of these Caddy Platter rich areas, we'll guarantee your cat will never go hungry again. And our new minimum 30 cans per person policy will help you tone your abs, biceps, forearms, and pecs. You'll be out of breath for a totally different reason. Caddy Platter, it's petty licking good. Tired of cat food getting all the attention? New Caddy Platter is also a shampoo. Science agrees that Caddy Platter is good for your cat and your hair. Its unique blend of whale blubber and soap makes it the perfect cat food plus an ideal moisturizer for the scalp. And don't worry about the residual traces of marine flesh, it's really in. Caddy Platter, it's rinse, lather, repeat, licking good. Nobody move! You! Empty the till! Yes, sir. Paper or plastic? What? You're just gonna give him the money? Yes, Roland. I'm just gonna give him the money. But that's robbery. Yeah! See the gun? Are you blind? He's German. What? So now I'm a Nazi? You're just like Barry and Steven Spielberg, you cat killer. You're the one that opened the box. Moron! Douchebag! Hey! Paper or plastic? What? You're just gonna give him the money? Yes, Roland. I'm just gonna give him the money. But that's robbery. Yeah! See the gun, you blind? Get off my cat. Gotcha. No robbers allowed, punk. No robbers allowed, punk. Oh, yeah? <sighs> Candace, I'm done for. Hammerman killed Catgirl. Sure, he dresses friendly, but don't trust him. He uses his hammer hat for evil. <laughs> Love you, Catgirl. Here I come. Roland! No more games. Give me the money. I know what you're thinking, punk. Did I fire six shots or only some? Roland, help me! Oh, so you need help from the German? Don't be stupid! The stupid German? I can't hold him by myself! So you need help from a Nazi halfwit? Do you need some help? Forget it. Where's the cat? I put it back in the box. Back in the box with Hammerman and Plutonium Girl? Um, yes. Gah! No, what are you doing? Killed her, cat killer! You're the one that opened the box! Moron! Douchebag! Guys, cut it out! 
What's it to you, German hater? Are you even German? Do you have a German passport? I use a South African passport for security reasons. That is a triple eight burrito passport. Oh, so you got a free burrito. Free burrito, sexy. Stop it! All you can think about is food. You totally collapsed my quantum wave function. Evening. Barry. Pablo, Erica. We had a report of shots fired. A robbery in progress. An illegal robbery. Well, there was, but where's the perpetrator? There. Jesus, it's the Gestapo! Freeze, mister. You'll never take me alive! Do slat on her, Alice! Roland! The situation's under control. We'll send a wagon to pick up the body. If the manager sees all this cat food, I'm in a lot of trouble. And get that cat out of here! <laughs> Coroner's office. We got a call to pick up a body. A dead body. No dead body here, guys. Huh? Weird. Night. Night. Bye. Ha! <laughs> Stop trying to kill the cat! I'm not trying to kill the cat. You are. It doesn't actually die unless you open the box. Yeah, well, it doesn't live unless I open the box either. It's the perfect pet. Moron. Douchebag. Guys? <laughs> Killed her, cat killer! You're the one that opened the box! Moron! Douchebag! Guys! Stop splitting the universe! Ooh, look at the crazy German splitting the universe in half! Are you even German? Do you have a German passport? I use a South African passport for security reasons. That's a triple eight burrito passport. This burrito is exactly what I'm talking about. I don't get it. It's clearly an erratic. A burrito from a parallel point in space-time connected to ours by this microwave. Free burrito. Sexy. No, not sexy. Dangerous. Probably radioactive. Stop splitting the universe or the chaos effect will build up and things will go totally out of control. Out of control! <sighs> sure, it starts small, but the quantum interference accumulates and before you know it, we've all got three eyes and a tail. Do not open the box! You're the one that opened the box! Moron! Douchebag! Guys! Where does all this cat food keep coming from? And all the Germans and races of the Lost Ark were Nazis? You know, he's got a point. How does he have a point? Well, what about the German federal agents in E.T.? There were no German federal agents in E.T. Oh, how do you know they're not German? What? <laughs> okay, <laughs> what about Jaws? German man-eating shark. The color purple. German wife-beating husband. Danny Glover? His real name is Daniel von Glovenberger. No, it's not. He's black. Oh, and now there's no black Germans? Racist. <sighs> You know, we're lucky that cat's still alive. If the plutonium was radioactive enough to trigger the reaction, we would all get radiation poisoning and puke and die. Hey, enough! Step away from the box. You, pack up your dead cat. And as for you, this microwave connects to a parallel reality, right? In theory, but I wouldn't go willy-nilly. Roland, start packing this cat food into the microwave. <sighs> Hi, I need a pickup at, uh... Mercury shipping. You call for a pickup? Thanks for using Mercury shipping. Well, all's well that ends well. Not exactly. What do you mean? Theoretically, even though we've tied things up here, there still may be a myriad number of universes out there splitting, and we'd never know about it. How would that happen? You'd keep opening the box, dumbass. But I couldn't leave Cacker alone with that jerk hammer man when her love for me is so true. Are you okay? <sighs> How do we get all the universes back together? Ah, I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. It's just a theory.
Tired of catty platter? Why not try Pussy Feast? Sure, Pussy Feast is more expensive, but you're paying for a piece of history. And as for shampoo, why not use Vagimoist? It's a double penetrating two-in-one with organic oils to prevent chafing. Who likes chafing? Catty platter has fish bones in it. Boo! Pussy Feast and Vagimoist. It's pussy and scalp licking good. Tired of your cat? Why not try new Caddy Planner? Its unique blend of glass, cyanide, artificial sugar, and cancer is guaranteed to kill your cat dead. Do you really want little Fifi dead and headless? Stomach full of glass, sick with metastasizing rot? Nobody trusts a murderer. Caddy Planner, seriously, if you try to buy some, we'll kill you. Seriously. Catch me if you can. Do I really need to explain it? Minority report. Minority? Don't get me started. Quantum physics is no joke, son. Goodbye, Roland. Bye, Uncle Eckert. I have a degree.